Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samuel and I want to make self-growth normal, but I don't want to do it alone. If you want to make self-growth normal, then make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps with SEO and ranking and all this other stuff and I really appreciate it because so much work goes into these videos. Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. This book is about the framework that the most dominant brands use to keep the foundational attention of their customers. It's about how to clearly and effectively communicate with them. It's meant to simplify the process of figuring out what your branding is going to do for the customers. Not like what it is, what it represents. That is not what the book is about. If you guys buy this book, I am not going to under or over promise anything. Thing. But I am always trying to see how much I and my viewers can squeeze out of the book in terms of value. The author has an interesting take, I'd say, on the positions that the company and customers play in this framework. The customer is Luke Skywalker and the company is like Yoda. This dude loves movies because movies are written to keep our attention for hours and hours on end. What else is designed to do that? Because if you don't like movies, I don't like movies. If you're like me and you don't like movies, this book can teach you what the most successful movies do that the most successful companies do. If you can keep someone's attention for two hours straight, then you are doing something that your competitors probably aren't. So here are the seven key elements he talks about in the book of effective story branding. Let's go over them right now after we smash the like button. Element one is that your brand is not the hero. And that's weird, right? Because you think since it's branding, then the brand is the hero, like saving the customer. But the fact of the matter is that that is not the fact of the matter. The real hero is, you guessed it, the customer. The customer is the star of the show. And if you want to be the light shining down on them, well, we'll get to that in just a second. But the customer is the hero. And your brand is not. Element two, companies tend to sell solutions to external problems and customers tend to buy solutions to internal problems. What does this mean? To be completely honest, based on what I learned in the book, I don't know if, I don't really know. <laughs> but if I had to guess, like, you know, if you're gonna sell a watch, for example, don't sell them a watch. If you're trying to sell them a watch, you gotta cut deeper than that. You know, a watch is not simply a watch. Sell them the value that the watch will give them. When they have the watch, it looks nice and they get compliments. And everyone is in love with that watch because the way you dress is a reflection of your attitude. And you know, we all like to look nice in America. If that sounds basic, here's the internal part. There are deep evolutionary, like biological reasons why we wear expensive jewelry and clothing. It says that we are high on the totem pole and that's social status and we have a high chance of producing successful business babies and that is attractive. So that is the hardwired problem. Does that make sense? Now, a watch is one thing, but that's one type of problem you're selling the solution to. It's not to tell the time. When's the last time someone asked you what time it is because they didn't have a smartphone in their pocket that could immediately answer them? There are internal problems, there are external problems, and my favorite, there are philosophical problems. Those are all talked about in the book. I really, I do like this book. I think it's a very concise, comprehensive guide to more than anything communicating with the people you're targeting, whether you're a personal or company brand. Element two is sell them the external solutions to their internal problem. Element three is that customers aren't looking for another hero. They're looking for a guide. Everyone needs a guide. You need to be the guide, the authority that helps them get where they are. The author talks about ways to demonstrate this with humility, and that is just for longevity purposes, it's a huge thing to pay attention to, especially if humility isn't really a strength of yours. I don't think it's naturally a strength of mine, but I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> so they don't need a hero, they need a guide. Element four is that customers trust a guide who has a plan. A lot of the time, people don't really need motivation. The fact that they have a problem, <laughs> chances are if they know what it is, it already sucks that's enough motivation for them to seek out the help. They just need the clarity to know what to do. The author has a process in this book. It's, there's a free, it's free on the website and everything. Of course, this book is not just a book and you guys probably, if you know my channel, you know how I feel about books that are not simply just books. A lot of us think that customers can read our minds and they just know what to do. They don't. They need a simple, fast, clear call to action, and they need to be hammered with it over and over and over and over again. Every company has their own sort of ratio of how much to give versus how much to call to action. But have a call to action and have a simple plan for them to follow it up with. Just like three to six steps tops. And keep it simple and easy. 
element five is that customers do not take action unless they are challenged to do so. If you want to know about this, I really highly recommend throwing down the gauntlet and checking out How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. If you don't know about that book, oh my gosh. If you don't know, you don't know about that book, I'll put it this way. Personal development is a cold, hard robot without people skills. <laughs> I say that from experience, so I don't know. I think it's essential. It's sold over 40 million copies. It's changed countless lives. The greatest investment Warren Buffett said he ever made was in a course from the author of the book. In that book, there's an amazing chapter on, you know, challenging people. So give them a challenge, ramp up the energy. And that is my challenge to you. Element six is that every human being is always trying to avoid a tragic ending of some sort. There's a lot of quiet desperation in this world and people are looking for answers and solutions. But if you are gonna sell them to people, you gotta know that pain and compress your story of a solution or collective stories of solutions and you gotta compress all of that into helping them meet their needs. And that ties into element seven. Element seven is that you should never assume that people know how your brand can change their lives. You have to tell them, see the success on their part, the happy ending. You know the journey of how to get there and they don't, but that journey is what you're selling here. After talking about the elements, the author does talk about a brand script, whatever that is, and how to implement it effectively, like all seven elements and more actually into your company with five simple steps. The details to each of them is in the they're all in the book but they are of the dumbest utmost importance number one is create a one-liner number two is create a generator and collect email addresses number three is create an automated email campaign number four is collect and tell stories of transformation and number five is create a system that generates referrals some of his reasoning behind a lot of these things <laughs> I think it's pretty genius. Quotes. I learned these formulas so well that my wife hates going to the movies with me because she knows that at some point I'm gonna elbow her and whisper something like, that guy is gonna die in 31 minutes. JK Rowling didn't write her first Harry Potter novel by saying, my name is JK Rowling and I've always wanted to write a book. Direction one. I recommend this book if you are trying to build a brand, obviously, but you're having trouble, you find that you're having trouble kind of communicating with and connecting to the customers and just really getting in their has. This book presents an excellent way of doing so. And there, there's also a whole marketing plan at the end of the book as well. If you like this book, I recommend checking out Fascinate and How the World Sees You by Sally Hogshead. The first one is about branding and the second one is about personal branding. But if there's any branding book that I like more than story brand, it's probably Fascinate. Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. There's a link in the description if you guys want to check it out and read the reviews. That and all the other books that I mentioned in this video, if you want to check those out too. If there are any other books that you guys want me to check out and review, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you checked out this book and you liked it. But hey, make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I don't know why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe. And if you did subscribe, but you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to receive a notification every time I drop a new video, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I do. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.